Hey y'all, it's the Thrifty Southerner back again for another Thrifty Thursday haul. Hope y'all have all had a great week. I have had a great week. Still feeling kind of funky. Do still have a sinus infection. So I'm going to kind of blow through this. I have a huge, I consider it to be a huge haul. There's, I'm going to go through it pretty quickly. So let's get started. All right. I hope you guys have enjoyed the couple videos that I have posted. And I will also be posting the um, <clears throat> handbag refurbishment video that I made for that Michael Kors and also that coat toilet. It is finished. I'll either post it tomorrow or Monday. All right. Let me show you the stuff that I bought for my family and myself. So we'll start with this. I was looking for a puffy vest and I found one. Now this pink is not my favorite color, although I do think it is a good flattering color on me. It's not really, I'm not really a pink gal, but it does have brown hair and it's really cute and also super dirty. And it was $3.95. And I got. I also got for my daughter, I think y'all saw this in one of the thrift with me, this little really, really cute meowy Christmas sweater. And also a coat for next year. And it's just an old navy pea coat. It just needs to be washed and have the all the um, lint taken off of it. Next thing, my daughter actually has a pajama day at her school tomorrow, and these are so cute. They're Nick and Nora, I think. Is that the brand? Yeah, Nick and Nora sleepwear, super duper cute. They're little kitty cats playing with Christmas lights and a Christmas tree. She's gonna love that. She hasn't seen that yet. I gotta throw all that stuff in the wash tonight so that she can wear those tomorrow. Um, I also got this sack roots, which I think y'all saw me get. I think I'm just going to keep this for myself because somebody wrote their phone number here. Like, or a phone number there in ink, which I'm probably not going to be able to get out. But I don't really have a wallet. I use a Tory Burch wallet all the time, but I really, it doesn't go with a black purse. So when I'm using a black purse, maybe I'll use that one. If anybody is interested in it, even though it does have that phone number, y'all please let me know. I would be willing to sell it, but it's super, super cute. Okay, then I found these for my daughter. She, um, they're a little bit big for her, but I think they'll be fun for her to play with, and they are Heelys. And if y'all don't know what Heelys are, they are tennis shoes that you can walk in, but you can also skate in. So, I think I got those for $2. So... Oh, and I didn't even say how much I paid for the pajamas. I'm not sure. I think it was like two. And then the wallet was $1.99. So, um, that's that. And then, gosh, I'm not even telling y'all prices at all. See, I don't know. It was whatever, whatever their prices were. I hate that. How this stuff is not priced. Like three or four bucks. And then I found these for myself. I absolutely love flats. I love ballet flats the most. And these are super cute for summer. They're like a tweed fabric. And they were $3, $2, something like that. So those will be great for summer. What next, what next? I got this for my daughter for Christmas. I may give this to her grandmother to give to her. It is a glitter messenger bag. You can color it and put glitter stickers on it. And she loves activities. I've told y'all that in the past. I try to get her activity stuff. It was $3.99, which I thought was not bad at all. It's brand new, still in the box, still like stuck to the box. So I also got her the Sky Craftastic Hangout with Himaly. I guess I'm saying that right. Getting the hang of Himaly, it's easy and fun. And so you make these little hanging things with all these little items. <clears throat> and it was $2.99 as well. Or it was $2.99. Okay, and then this uh, second to last thing I'm keeping for myself is this little relax. Um, I think I filmed one video in my office because they were doing work on a tree here. This, the color of my walls is this color-ish. And so I thought this would be really cute in there. And I'm going to pull this off and I'll hang it. Or I'll put it on a shelf. I have some 
floating shelves in there. That was half of, no, 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 it was $1.99. Alrighty, so that's everything for me except this last thing, which I did get on uh, Facebook Marketplace. Is that what it's called? Facebook Marketplace. And I love it, and it's beautiful, and I paid $60 for it. And I love Tori Birch. It is, she's probably my favorite purse designer. Her, she and Rebecca Minkoff um, are two of my favorites. And I love this bag. It's it's got the half Tori. It's just got the one T. Really beautiful. Really nice for like a little bit dressier event when I go to church. So that's that. There, she did have two for sale, and I was gonna buy them both, but one of them, I think she replaced one of the rings on the strap. She said she didn't. And she said it came that way, but. I was skeptical and I couldn't find a picture of the actual purse online to make sure, so I just didn't get it. All right, so that's all that I am keeping for myself. Let me show you the shoes next. I got these Rebecca Minkoff clogs. I believe if you watched my thrift with me from yesterday, you saw these. They are awesome. Super cute chain. What size are they? I forgot to say sizes in my last video. They are eight and a half. And I think they're in excellent condition. I mean, they've got, they maybe been worn once. They need to be conditioned. But, I mean, look, there's no wear. Usually you'll see wear on this back heel. No wear. Super cute. They need to be stuffed because this one kind of got wrinkled. Oh, no, wait. No, we're good. This is a little buckle. So these are eight and a half. Again, no wear. Great condition. They just need to be leather condition. Super, super cute. So those will be for sale. And then I also found the and these were in a thr the thrift with me too. These Vasque boots. They are brand new. Then they did have some insoles in the inserts in them, which looked new. I bet you anything somebody wore these one time was like, no, these are not comfortable. Made in Italy, Vasque, Skywalk. And I can't remember what the style is, but I found this exact style. And the cheapest I could find it was on sale for $164. These retail, most of them were like going for $200. So I'm super excited about these because they are, I can sell them as new without tag. I mean, because they are. Yeah, totally. All right, the next thing is these Trask shoes. And I saw these, again, this was on my, on my Thirds With Me video, um, and I just, they looked like really high quality. And so, come to find out they are. They're T, uh, HS Trask, Bozeman, Montana. And they're, I don't know if all of these shoes are made out of bison, but something about bison. With, the, with this brand. Like a lot of his shoes are bison. Again, I don't know if these are. I could not find these exact shoes, but they are in excellent condition. Maybe worn once, maybe twice. There's no wear inside. There's no wear on the bottom. And these are between two and $300 shoes as well. So score on that. All right, and then I got these, which are not in as good a condition, but they're very desirable, I think, brand of hiking boot. I really wish they were in my size because I would totally keep these. And these are Keens. They are, oh, I didn't tell you all the men's, the sizes of the boots, see? I'm, I'm a little groggy today, you guys are just not groggy, but cloudy headed from not feeling well. So these are eights, these hiking boots. And then, the men's HS Trask are eight and a half mediums. So they are kind of, a, kind of small from men's size, on the small side. Okay, and then these are seven and a half, I think. These are seven and a halves. And these are awesome keen hiking boots. They do have a little bit of dirt wear here. I'm gonna condition that leather, hopefully get that out. But there's no real wear on the bottoms. I mean, they're still in perfect 
working condition. They're really great because they have these attached tongues, so nothing can go into your shoe. That's a really nice touch on those. So, um, I for also forgot to tell you what I paid for these guys. These were $2 because everything was half there, uh, as well as the same Edelman's. And then these were six eighty-five. I actually considered not filming this video because I feel that bad, but I went ahead and did it. So I apologize that I'm having to backtrack and tell y'all stuff that I forgot to say. Okay, so let's get on to the purses. All right, the first purse I have here is the super duper cute. I have the super duper cute Kipling. So it is adjustable, not, not adjustable, what's the word? Convertible. You've got a little top handle here with Kipling on it. You can wear it as a crossbody bag or you can wear it as a backpack, which is super cute. I couldn't tell you how that all works. Somehow you feed the strap through there and then it becomes a little mini backpack. Super cute, it's black, it's in great condition. Got this at an estate sale and I believe I paid half of four, which was two, because when I went to the estate sale, everything was half price. So that's super duper cute convertible bag. The next thing is a Kavu, which I also got at the same sale, and I believe that it was two as well. So it's super cute too. Yeah, it was half a four. So it was two. Super cute. Kavus are awesome. They usually sell really well for me. In excellent condition. It's not even dirty. You know, a lot of times these these bags that are made out of this light canvas will get really dirty. It doesn't look like it's even really been used. So that was nice. I was encouraged that I found some things at estate sales because our garage sale season is about to be over. And even though in my thrift with me yesterday, it appeared as if my thrift stores are halfway decent, they're usually not. So I'm excited that maybe I can go to some estate sales over the winter time. Okay, also got this one at an estate sale. Different estate sale. I believe this one was eight. And it is a huge Brighton carpet bag. Beautiful, beautiful print with the camel and the monkeys. It's really large in really, really great condition. Needs to the leather needs to be conditioned besides that. See how big it is? It's huge. Braided leather straps. Gorgeous. I also got this purse at the same estate sale. Also for eight dollars. It is a Michael Kors. Really cute. This is nylon. You've got the two zip pockets in the front. Two, whatever you call those, front pockets in the back. One of my dogs is playing with his bone. Let's draw here. Pretty pink interior. It does have something on the interior that I have not yet even tried to get out. It looks like chocolate. So this is also nylon, so it should be no problem at all to get that out. But that's super cute and in perfect condition, aside from that chocolate. At a garage sale, I found this little guy for $5. And this is a pop art edition. I have sold several pop art pieces. For whatever reason, they usually go for more than regular pieces. It's this, I think the pop art is this kind of see? I'm not sure. Or maybe it's this pleating. I don't know. Anyway, coach logo. There is a little bit of fading on the coach logo. Um, other than that, no issues. Um, there's a little bit of cracking of the edge coat on this one. Nothing structurally wrong with it, though. Um, pretty light pink interior super cute crossbody and 
You guys also saw this in my thrift with me, this super duper cute Kate Spade that I was so excited to find. The only issue with it is it's got one thread right here that I just need to snip. It's not even like effect, it's not even like a stitch came out. It's just poking out, I don't know why. Navy blue, straw. Straw has minimal wear on it, no broken pieces, one little poke right there, one poking out, but nothing. It's in great condition. Super cute, got the turn lock. And then here's the interior. Really pretty interior. There is one little pen mark right there, which I can try to get out with alcohol. Other than that, it's in great condition. Super cute little summer purse. Just keep the turn lock turned. All right, paid $3.99 for that. This little Lily Pulitzer, this is sold, or I think it's pending payment. She's not paid yet, but um, she saw it in my thrift with me and contacted me and purchased it. it has the invoices going to purchase it, so. Super cute, got it for half of three, which is a dollar fifty. And just in interior, just pink. That's cute. And last but not least, this awesome fossil tote that is filthy. This is the kind of thing that I will throw in the washing machine because it does not have any stains on it like no spots it's just all over kind of dingy so to freshen it up this can totally go in the wash now I do not recommend um, putting it in the dryer because of the leather so you would want to wash it and then hang it to dry and I paid half of $3.99 for that so two dollars super duper cute make a cute diaper bag or even just a just a tote for someone who likes really big bags but see how dirty it is so it should clean up quite nicely all right, you guys, that is my haul. I hope I didn't blaze through it too quickly. But um, as I said, I will go ahead and put up the um, handbag video either tomorrow or Monday. If y'all have any other ideas for videos that you would like to see from me, I would love to try to do some of those, especially now that I can edit. So um, y'all let me know. Leave me some feedback. Um, other than that... If you are interested in buying any of these items, you can uh, contact me through my Facebook group, which is Thrifty Southerner Finds. Post on there asking about the item that you're interested in. Um, if you're not a member, you can ask to join. I will approve you, and then you can do that. If you are not a Facebooker, you can send me an email. Uh, I will put my email in the description bar below. And um, you can email me. But I do get several hundred emails a day, so the quickest way to get in touch with me is going to be my Facebook group. All right, you guys. Um, until next time, y'all keep it thrifty.